Hello everyone! I'm up here uh, just getting ready to do a bunch of moving of old tailings. I gotta clear out uh, my mining site here. And one thing I have to do is I have to get rid of a couple or three or four big, big rocks. And I don't think even hooking on to those with a chain and pulling with a truck, I can move them. So what I've done today is I've brought up the Micro Blaster. Basically tiny dynamite or uh, big firecrackers. And I'm gonna drill some holes into these rocks and see if I can split them. That's gonna be a tough one. I think I can split that guy there and some of these little guys. And once they're split into smaller pieces, I'll be able to hook on with the truck and pull them away. And we can get back to mining this site. Well, I'm gonna start getting things set up and then I'll show you a little bit more as we go. So the first thing we have to do is we have to drill a hole in the rock. Just the right size, it's a 5 16 hole I believe. We got the little hooky. The hammer drill here to drill a hole. And of course it needs to be down into the center of the rock, so when it goes it tries to split the rock into a few fairly even pieces. After drilling, we have to clear away all the dust. So, stuff on the surface to start with. I got a little bulb here. Go down the hole. And clear the dust out of the bottom there. I'm not sure why the getting the dust out is important for this. But looking at their site, it is important. The little wire brush here to clean the hole. I think it has something to do with the charges being able to slip all the way down into the bottom of the hole. Mosquitoes are out here. So the next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to take a couple of these charges here and put them down in the hole with the primer side up. You can get away with one, but big rock like this, and definitely gonna try for two. Next, we're gonna take the mechanism here for the micro blaster, slide it down that hole, right on top of those charges, just seated nicely on top of them, and take the airline here, unwrap it, and move it far away from this rock. I'm gonna take an old jacket and just throw it over top here. Just a piece of fabric of some sort, blankets work, whatever. And that way if it does just shoot up around the charge, that the pieces stay somewhat contained. If it does split the rock, nothing will go flying. Over here, we got the air tank to set this off. We connect up the two there. It has a safety key to lock it. So we're gonna unlock it once it's connected up. Then we're gonna try to split that rock. Okay, we're all ready to go. I am gonna set down the camera here somewhere. And so I can go and work the mechanism and see what happens. And fire in the hole. Apparently I have to turn the air tank on first. That would make sense. Okay. Turn the air tank on. And flare in the hole. That's what I was hoping for. Look at that. Nice, perfect split. You can see the jacket did catch a bunch of little shards that went flying. There's the mechanism. And there's that rock split in two. Definitely be able to move that one piece. The back side might still be a bit big. I might try another shot in it. Okay, rock number two, ready to go. 
it just took too long to drill these things. See if we can find somewhere to put my camera. Not as dramatic, definitely, but you can see it split the rock. Nice big crack there, and that will make it easier for us to pull this rock out. Looking at the crack, it seems to go all the way down, goes up through, and then it disappears in behind, so hopefully that means Oh, look at all this good ground. All oh, this stuff is perfect. This is where the goal is sitting right on top of this rock. Okay, uh, tough to see where the crack went, but I'm hoping it went back through and split it in two. I'm gonna put another one right there. Splitter again. Okay, we're ready for another shot. This time I'm gonna do it without the uh, old jacket on top, just so you can see it, the whole thing in action. Uh, I'm going to be far enough away along the side so it won't shoot towards me. My truck's far enough away along the other side so it's not going to hit that. Any pieces that do fly, hopefully they don't hit the camera. Try to stabilize that camera nicely. Okay, here we go. Shot number three. Fire in the hole. There we go. Kaboom. Another good split all the way down. Now it seems to just take sort of the face off this one. Obviously there's some sort of fault that went down there. I don't know how far back this rock goes. We're going to have a fair bit of digging to get this rock out, but I think we're now down into three manageable pieces. And we can go from there. I think that guy is big enough that we can drag it with the truck by itself. Who knows how big that guy is. I think he's small enough we can drag him too. I think I'm going to throw another charge in the back side of this rock here and see if we can split that back side. Because I only took about a third off and it was the biggest one. So, uh oh, it was rain again. One more charge in this one. Not the best shot around, but it'll do. One last shot, again without the blanket on. I don't think things are flying too far. And one last shot, fire in the hole. Split, but not much. So that last one didn't do it. I guess this is a pretty solid rock in there. I'm trying a second one here. Uh, so another double shot, just off to the off the side of the first one, and we'll see if. We can blow this. Hopefully not to have to use too many charges, because each charge is about two dollars. But we'll see what we can do with this. Put the camera down here this time. top off. It's a chunk, you can see that split going right through. Went up past that first one, so that first uh, shot did weaken it enough, that one took it right to it.
Let's hope this is small enough that I can move it. Okay, one last shot. I think I'm just having fun now. Let's see what that one does. worked better. Now we can definitely move that rock. Kaboom. And it is now split right through the core. That will be easy to move at this point. Hopefully this guy will be as well. I dig around so I can get some chains on them and pull them out of here. Rest of these little guys, even that big one up there, you can get them out pretty easily. Open this up and get back to mine and well, that was fun. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was more um, utility or just entertainment on my part, because that was fun. Blowing stuff up. Well, that was the micro blaster. Basically miniature dynamite or glorified firecrackers blowing up rocks. And as you can see, they can blow up rocks pretty darn good. Probably one ton rocks a piece and just split nicely. I also have the uh, hard rock claim on this area. And when I get this area cleared, I want to see if I can identify where that vein is. It should be right under my feet right now. And possibly the micro blaster might get some of the material out for me. We'll see. We got to get cleared away first. Well, guys, thanks for coming along on my uh, my entertainment here, my enjoyment. And luckily the rain is broken. It's beautiful out here. It's a great day. I got an hour or two before dark. I might stick around and play around a little bit more. Well, guys, until next time. Bye.